Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds expansion. We're still at Long Notch, ready to head up to Thunder's Drum, the big giant volcano where the the daemon is said to be, uh, well, keeping the goddess of the Banuk, um, well, prisoner. So we need to head up a bit further and talk to Orea, because we talked to Aratak already. So we just need to see where his sister is hiding at. There's a few strange symbols on the on the compass here, symbols I don't immediately recognize. But I'm guessing... Okay. Hello, Aurea. Aloy. This is it. The spirit, I'm My sorry. My chance Not to goddess. reunite with the spirit. And perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider. Someone ignorant of our ways. But no, not ignorant. I... Are you trying to thank me, Aurea? Yes, of course. That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. Yeah, you kind of did that yourself. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right. Stubborn as stone, but... He's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. I do feel like this is running on its last legs already, which is kind of weird. We have a few side quests we can do, but if this is the final quest of the main, well, quest, then it's rather short. But before we uh, get to that conclusion, let's talk to her a bit more. Aratak told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. It sounded bad. For Aratak, it all comes back to that. He thinks the cars had changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost, you think about what's truly important. The spirit. The blue light. The beyond. And my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him. Worried for him. Hmm. I keep, every time I see one of those shamans or her, I keep wondering how they put those blue wires in their skin, because it doesn't seem like it's wrapping around their arms. What did the war do to Aratok? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Although I might be wrong about that. No Banuk has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? I don't know, because I can't really, well, talk to you about that, because we don't know your history. But yeah, let's talk about silence again. Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can order you to tell me about Silence? Aratak would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you are not Aratak, and if you have dealt with Silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Ban Ur from the distant north, the young shaman of the Owl's Watch, a remote Warrick that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. He was, or at least when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmström, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. He stole everything. Relics of the old world stolen. Holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. 
We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone, as though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous, but also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. Anyone else I would warn off, but you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. Well, he's gone, but that is very interesting. Kind of explains where he got his tools from. So he stole from the Banuk and then ran away with everything. And the people that vouched for him also disappeared. So that indeed makes us wonder where silence even came from. But yeah, to the matter at hand, Thunder's Drum. What are we going to find up there, Rhea? Ruins. Machines. And a door, like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt the daemon has tried to hide the way. Okay then. Time to ascend. It hasn't been easy for you, Aurea. Getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Are you ready then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. Yeah, confirm. Ascend to Thunder's Drum. Okay, burning stick. What is that supposed to do? Finally, we ascend. Or is oh. that just an, an arrow Not going up? Way up? Not up. Through. Through? No, brother! Oh! An air vent. So the burning stick was used to weaken the ice. They're smarter than they let on with the fancy rituals. So the smoke will cause the fan to open up. And there we go. What the? F the spirit awaits. Ah, it's not all that awaits. That is nicely done. So because of the smoke, the facility struck the fire alarm. I too can call upon the power of the old ones. <laughs> By opening a door and activating the fire alarm. Well, the other way around, but yeah, nothing to brag about. We've opened many doors. This place? The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind from a terrible danger. Fortress? It looks more like a machine. Is that not fitting? The blue light often dwells in machines. Well, let's just hope that some remains here. Huh. Battery facility. What Metal were they doing so here? Tall as Benio's cliffs. I still don't like it. Hmm. Were they making batteries or were they storing energy for something maybe the focus can tell us something doesn't seem like it I do hear combat music there's something over there on the floor I'll be here finally over. gonna learn something about these halls rang with the spirits presence. fire break return to fire break November 21st 2064 
It's been three years since I was last here, and twelve since I was running the place. Just a skeleton crew left, confused about why I'm here. So am I. Anita wants me to find a way to suspend operations for a while. Maybe a long while, and I don't know why. But from the sound of her voice, it was something terrifying. I wish I could look into her eyes, ask her what the hell she's so freaked out about, but what else is new? When don't I wish I could look into her eyes again? Aloy? Were you listening for something? There are... memories here. Messages left by the old ones. And you can hear them. I envy you. What did they say? I'm not sure yet, Aurea. I'm restless. The echoes mock me. Okay, so something scared them off, and then Kenny, the boss of the Firebreak Project, returned back here. But we don't know what happened yet. So let's definitely keep our eyes open for any more uh, of those logs, because I don't want to miss any anything about this story because it really looks interesting so there's a bunker door over there but it's locked so let's just climb on top of this machine and then we can probably yeah get up here oh there's just another message here text message kenny's homecoming joshua the return of the director emeritus decent hollow title gina no bad title and we're subject the camera crew would die of boredom Whatever, Tina, it's still the most excitement this Hellcave's seen in a long time. Your standards for exciting are depressingly low. I'll squeeze what I can out of this, thanks. You always were a little sweet on Kenny. What? No way, his ears are enormous. Besides, he was too busy mooning over Anita. So Anita must have died then. I want to know what he's doing here in the first place. It's not normal. He helped engineer the most advanced geothermal facility in history, then rode off into the sunset. Now he wants to check up on his masterwork, seems normal to me. But why now? He keeps poking around in the cooling facility and asking questions about Cyan. Do you think there's something wrong? Last I checked there's been no deviation in any of our readings since the most recent microquake swarm. Maybe Kenny likes taking field trips on Pharaoh's dime. It's been 14 years, they would have frozen those accounts by now. Has it been that long? Man, I'm old. Not old, just boring. Geothermal facility, so it is storing energy. So geothermal is storing uh, the heat uh, energy from the Earth's core into something else. This looks like I can climb up. What the hell? Oh, it's a corrupted watcher. I could probably just drop down onto that. And down. There we go. Are we? No, now we're in stealth. Machines. At least we have the drop on them. So there's one watcher over here. Just gonna check out what he's gonna do. And then a scrapper, two watchers, and a long leg. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh, that was bullshit. There we go. Oh god. I'm completely blind. Come on. Critical. Just going spear only right now. Fire bombs, fire bombs, fire bombs. And then blast bombs. Let's go with the uh, hard point arrows. That's why I was doing a little damage. There we go. 
We must climb higher. Ooh, I was almost dead. So there we go, demonic freezing do. bellow back. Ah, yes, I needed that for the forge fire upgrade. That is uh, great, I suppose. Not really my focus at the moment. Get it? Focus. But uh, let's see what else we can find. So it seems Aurea and Aerotag did do some damage because I don't think I killed... No, I killed the Scrapper and the Watcher, so they must have at least killed one Watcher then. Okay, so there's another text message over here. From Kenny Chow again. Must have been sometime in the spring of 2047, about six months after the main facility opened. We were behind schedule and new data indicated that an incident was close, maybe only weeks away. I was exhausted, losing weight, barely speaking except to give orders. I passed by Anita in the battery depot. She looked at me and frowned, then pulled me into his, this room and kissed me. A long kiss, the best kind. I can still remember the feel of her hand on the back of my neck. After, she looked at me and smiled and went back to work without saying a word. I'll never forget that moment, her touch, her unspoken generosity. After she left the project, I spent years beating myself up for not keeping her somehow. Every time I ran into her at a conference, I felt thrilled and lost and confused, all at the same time. Always hoping we might have a few drinks and, well, rekindle. It was only after I saw her on stage in a hollow in 58, accepting the Mind Challenge Award in Austin, with Elizabeth Sobeck presenting, no less, glowing and happy and fulfilled, that it dawned on me that I hadn't done anything wrong at all. I could finally see that she had what she wanted, and it simply wasn't me. Okay, so Anita left Kenny after... Must have been after the Firebreak project, because we found... Well, clues about their relationship inside of the previous facility. Which makes me wonder what happened to her. Because the other log kind of indicated that she might have died. Um, I'm really hoping I'm not missing any logs. Because it's an interesting side story again. Let's go up. Not much farther now. So these things are clearly charging up all the batteries in here, and I'm I can only assume that the energy was used for Project Zero Dawn. So to just power up every other facility. Yeah, that looks like Wow. That looks like geothermal energy, alright? Here. We fought our way through there. The machines overcame us. We retreated, dropping supplies and taking losses. Two scorchers and a behemoth. Now we must prevail, with only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior. And I can hold my own. Well, we'll see about that. So, we could go that way instead. There are machines up there, but also cover. We could stay hidden, at least for a while. Sounds like a plan. Alright, I get the options. Now follow my lead. Well, that's pretty obvious. I think we're going for the stealth option. Pipes, towers, steam, frost. What was all this for? I'm um, quick saving. There we go. So, yeah, it was clearly for energy purposes. And I can only guess it is for Project Zero Dawn, right? To, f to power up all the other uh, facilities. Must have been pipelines running through those other facilities. I'm just gonna try and be stealthy here. I might even just swap out to my stealth gear. Let's do that. So, haven't used this outfit in a while. Looks a bit warmer than the, the other one. So let's just drop down and be really careful about this. With my stealth armor, I should be able to stay hidden for a bit longer than I... Uh, because I was immediately spotted by that watcher in the previous area. What is Aurea doing? Is she trying to get down? I went this way years ago, looking for cover in case machines came prowling. I have no doubt that it is guarded now, but we may be able to stay hidden. I think we might actually be able to stay hidden. So a stalker 
A sc two scrappers and a watcher. Nope. Scratch that. More scrappers over there. So, but with my updated. With my updated um, spear, I might be able to kill scrappers with one stealth hit. It's cold. As if there's chill water running through those massive pipes. So there we go. Bye. So I think this scrapper just moves in this direction, right? Yeah, so I think... Yeah, okay, I can kill them in one hit. That's good, that's good, that's really good. So now, let's get the whistling going. Yeah, just let's do that. So it's gonna try and get to me, but I can kill it in one hit. Hopefully. So that takes out two scrappers already, which saves me some time. There's something running up there. I think it's another scrapper. Yeah, that is another scrapper. Do have to be careful because the stalker is making its rounds. I'm guessing that's going to be the only one I can't really kill in one hit. So there's another watcher over there. And another scrapper over there. Yeah, okay, so the stalker is turning around. I'll stay as quiet as I can. Oh god. Why is it stopping there? Oh god. Uh, move away from the mines. Press on. Stay low. I don't have any kind of cover here. Although that scrapper is on the edge of its. Oh no, Arata, get out of my way. There we go. I think I might actually take the supplies up there. If Orea will move out of the way. I can't pull myself up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, okay, fuck it. Fuck the supplies. So we have another stalker over there. But we're heading in the right direction. So that's the stalker again. And that's a uh, long lag, so I won't be able to kill that in one hit. Either. We tripped the mine. Don't brace yourself. Shh. Nice and quiet. We tripped the mine. Apparently tripped the mine. I don't know how. But apparently we tripped the mine. Must have been one of them, right? Because I didn't see any mines in my vicinity. Oh god. Move back, move back. Move back, it doesn't see me. Oh god. I saw it coming our way. This is where it ends. Ah! Oh god. I think it's, for now, the only one trying to kill me. And I can kill it with the spear. Oh god. Yeah, okay, our duck is fighting. Should probably help him out. There we go. We can take out the few components there. There we go. And now we have whatever that is. There we go. Ooh, what is happening? That's something new in that bow. Oh, sorry. Ooh, that was freaking awesome. Did you see that? Midair, both in midair, and he got a triple arrow in the eye. That was cool. Oh, I love this game sometimes. What am I saying? I love this game all the time. Whew. 
So that means we're pretty much through the upper area. And we don't need to deal with uh, anything else. You know what, let's leave those traps, because I know they're just signal beacons. Because everything died and we can get inside right over here. There we go. There's a door up ahead. We're almost through. Well, since is that a squirrel? Yeah, my first instinct is to kill the squirrel. <laughs> I, that's the first squirrel I've seen in this game. Maybe the first one I've noticed. Um. Hmm. Let's see what else is here. So let's listen to this one. Voice log corrupted. Excessive secrecy. Technically, I can't from Kenny. suspend the cooling system, but I can reduce the power draw so that it'll be completely masked by the cult. What? What happened? Let's play that again. So that it'll be completely masked by the caldera. But masked from what? Firebreak has always been confidential for security reasons, but this would be excessive. Even for the dear departed Mr. Blevins. What could possibly have gotten Anita so worked up? So interesting. So Blevins also died, which is, well... I don't say I know the man, but he sounded like an asshole, so yeah. Good riddance, I suppose. But that is interesting. So, the other log also mentioned that it was 14 years later. Which means that... That would have been a lot of time before Project Zero Dawn. So I don't even know... If they're linked anymore. So the control tower. You know what? Before we move on, I'm gonna take a little break. Um, because we're pretty much at half an hour, for me anyway. Uh, so thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to keep going inside of Thunder's Drum. So uh, by now, we know that it's a facility to get the uh, heat energy from the volcano. But what else is lying for us? And wait, we'll see in the next episode. Goodbye.